Hey guys, I'm Faiza and I'm a makeup artist and content creator. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is chosen by you guys and it's a very interesting one because the first time I'm actually doing this on YouTube is going to be a celebrity inspired hair and makeup look. Um, I start with the hair and then move on to makeup. The look that you guys picked was this one. I will insert it in the frame. Uh, if you guys want to see, it will be the whole matte vibes, Kylie Jenner makeup look. Um, and I'm gonna be doing it in how her makeup artist would do hers. Uh, I already did my brows, and then how she does it is her brows, her base, her lids, her concealer, and then you guys can see that. Um, but I will start with the hair, um, so if you guys are interested, then keep watching. The first thing I did was I blow dried out my entire hair because my hair is naturally very wavy. I have extensions in, um, so it's really frizzy. Uh, I only had heat protector in it. And I will be using this a mermaid waver. Um, I will link you guys where I got it, and they were kind enough to lend, give me a code for you guys to use if you are interested in um, getting anything from their site, as well as the section clips. Everything will be below, and the discount code will also be on the screen if you guys are interested. So I'm gonna put this on, and I'm setting it to the temperature that I want. I'm gonna put it to like 190. So let's get to it. I am sectioning my hair and I will start from the bottom layer and then work my way up and then I will show you guys how I will smooth it out for any flyaways. So all you're going to do is blow dry your hair with a brush just so that you can at least have a good base. I'm getting the clips, these are really good, they grip really tight. So I'm getting a wide tooth comb which is also from the mermaid place. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and then work my way up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I will be using a heat protector throughout my whole hair. And then let's get straight to it, section by section. I'm gonna start from the back, but my thing is I don't wanna go all the way to the top. I want to start more from the middle because I already dried my hair. So I'm going to get my mermaid waver. And, and this is a good barrel because it's a good thickness. So it'll give you like a nice natural waver. Leave it for a few seconds. Let it go. You get the nicest Kylie Jenner waves. So you guys, I will speed it up so you guys can see how easy it is to just clasp it down and get on with it. So I forgot to tell you guys that the mermaid waver comes with a glove so you get to protect your hand. So what I do is each clasp, I kind of like count to like six, so they're all even and not some are not more creased than the others. And that's how I do it. it kind of smooths it out nicely too. So I have like a nice wave there. <clears throat> and with my hand, want to cool down, I will brush it out. So that's that section. And I'm quickly gonna do the rest sped up so you guys don't get bored. <laughs> so I want to find exactly where I want it so this would be light and if you want it more dramatic you will leave it for longer the right way so one So what you guys can do each section, you can hairspray it, but I like to keep it soft because I want to comb it out so they're nice and soft. And then I will um, set it with a serum and a shine spray because I have a lot of flyaways with my hair. And I'm not really good at my own hair, so this really helps speed up the process. We have that, we're gonna do the next section. Then we get our wide tooth comb. We're literally gonna start like here, like not even all the way to the top. Like halfway, we're gonna go in for it. Because they're like thick 
barrels you'll get a really nice and natural like wave I have extensions in section it um, if you guys want more volume I really suggest you do it from the root underneath but I don't want volume I want more um, of the defined curl because that's how she has hers in the picture so I'm gonna start quite low like here just so I can like really tame the top so we have like six that side kind of done and now I'm gonna start with this side so um, I quickly finished the top and then I'll show you guys how I will smooth everything out so guys that took me like 10 minutes but the difference is I'm trying to do it on camera and if it looked like a hot mess I'm sorry just super easy now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tame everything because it's not clean so I'm gonna wait for it to cool down a little I'm gonna go through it with a wide tooth comb like this and I'm gonna start adding product to it so what I want to do is firstly I want to use this slick and fix styling glue for all hair types from Lula Bells I'm gonna take a little bit of the back of my hand and I got this I'll link everything below I got this like a toothbrush thing from ASOS and I'll link everything below so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of it like this and I'm just gonna take away all the flyaways like so so that is very neat so this is not like a hard gel I noticed that it dries clear and it leaves like a nice sheen to the skin and it's so good for flyaways so that's why I started to use this just on the parting um, because I live in a very humid country and this is the only way I tame my flyaways and whatever I have left like this I kind of just flatten it like from here so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to put a serum through my hair. This is the Umberto, Umberto Gianni Miracle Worker Smooth Serum. It tames and defrizzes. I'm going to take like one pump of it because I don't want my hair to be too greasy because I will be adding um, I will be adding a shine spray to it and hairspray at the end. So I'm literally just putting all my fingers through everything. Um, but make sure the hair is cool when you do this because you don't want to um, disrupt the styling. I may have to go over it because I literally just put my fingers through that while it was still hot. But you know, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm a makeup artist, so it's fine. So I'm literally not forgetting the ends like so. Um, and I really want to kind of... Okay, I still have the waves. It's fine. So the next thing I want to do for the hair is like do that. Okay, we're set. We're done is a, sh a shine spray a glass finish by mark hill and i'm going to put this all over the hair so we have a nice shine throughout the whole hair this is so good for the glossy glossy vibe so what i'm gonna do while i do my makeup i really want to set the pin so that i have uh, no creasing so these are just pins I got from ASOS also if I get a chance I will link everything and also I'm gonna take away from my face so what I will do at the end is I will hairspray the baby hairs down and that's the hair so I'm not a hairstylist but I'm setting my hair so it stays tidy I'm gonna go straight in um, with the primer shadow face space so I'm gonna start off with um, this primer around my face, which is a Laura Mercier. I don't know if this will do it, I'll do one, but I'm gonna go straight in with my skin. I'm using a Laura Mercier primer um, on the surrounding of my face. Uh, I don't know if this will do this, but if I find it, I'll link it. If not, I will li leave something that's closest to it. So I'm gonna do this in the um, surrounding perimeter of my face. Um, I wanna put this hair too back because I don't want it too. It's better if I did my hair after, right? But I'm not that kind of person. So, forehead. And then I'm going to leave the nose for a different primer. So, my eyebrows were already done first. Um, this, I always prefer that. Um, yeah, let's put this. 
and then what we're gonna do is for the nose on the t-zone we are going to use a tart um shape tape pore primer because she's very matte so if you are an oily gal or a combination gal like me you're gonna love your primer because like you see what this is doing mm -mm -mm. we're literally mattifying over here. okay so i don't use an eye primer for my eyes but i do use a concealer so i'm going to prime my eyes with a concealer you can use your eye primer at this stage and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this out with a MAC 270S so I'm gonna blend this all the way like so I kind of have hooded eyes and she has more of a lid space but I'm gonna work with how you can use this so the good thing about concealing your eyes is that you get an even base um, and all the discoloration gets covered so you have a nice setup for um, your shadow so yeah I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape for this um, and zoom you guys in and edit okay now that's done, I'm just gonna literally set it with my fingers. I'm going to get a flat brush. Like so, this is a Sephora Concealer 02. Getting a matte translucent powder and literally just setting my whole lid area, prepping, prepping it for the shadows. So what we're gonna focus on lifting the eye so we get a nice Kylie Jenner Fox eye. She usually starts with her brows, then her eyes, her uh, foundation, um and then her concealer after the shadow so i'm gonna pull up the picture real quick to kind of see where we're going with so i think we're gonna start with um let's start with the base color so i kind of looked around like kind of colors so i'm using three palettes well two one is the fenty um true neutrals um which will be the matte white color in there then i'm using the chanel um number 268 um show you how it looks like it looks like this so i'm going to be using the light browns in that and then maybe depending on how i feel it looks i will be using the dior shadow and 763 rosewood matte this is how it looks like So they're all matte colors um, because she's a very matte girl and even the rosy matte cheeks and also you guys there will be an amazing giveaway where I will gift you guys a winner specific winner all majority of the makeup that I like that you can recreate this look with including a very special blush so yeah keep watching so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight in with a brush like this which is the Dior 21 and I'm going in with that light shade from Fenty, which is called Nookie Rookie. I don't know what that means, but yeah. We're literally just gonna pack this area to bring it out. So that's what she has. I mean, like, so we're gonna start with the inner and then lid, and then um, just how she has hers. Yeah. You're just gonna pack the inner lid because you don't want it to um, look patchy. So I'm just gonna pack this on like so, and we're gonna go like quarter in. Yeah. And I'm literally just gonna go all the way up, and then when we do the contour, it will be easy. So that kind of brightens that eye area. Um, I like how that will soon look. Then what I'm gonna do is you can take any light matte brown. I'm gonna take this one here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it. Where's my other brush? With a MAC 217. Let me just see just in case I have like shadow on that. 
and this is gonna go all over the lid okay so we're gonna pick up this color like so Swatch a little bit. okay and this is gonna go all the way to the end so we're just kind of making a, a an ombre I'll hopefully zoom you guys in so we're gonna go all the way like so staying in the lid area and then we're gonna use the darker colors to like really accentuate the outer lid so let's pack that on all the way to the end of the lid so that the other colors have something to stick to like so okay now I'm going to take a 286 by MAC S and I'm going to go in with this color right next to it which is a top kind of brown yeah and this is where we're gonna start making the crease so it kind of goes very high up like so so you want to keep your eyes open for this and when you look down you'll know exactly so you're gonna keep opening and closing opening and closing your eyes for this and this kind of let me see how far in it goes um okay so it kind of goes all the way like this so like so so when you open your eyes it's really like there okay I have hooded eyes, so it's like I have to keep opening them. So if you have hooded eyes, you're gonna wanna keep opening and closing, opening and closing. Just close this real quick. Okay. So maybe the end will add more in the. It's a very simple look, actually. Yeah. So now we really got the colors in. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Let's hope it is. Um, don't worry about the blending. We're gonna blend that out at the end. But let's just get the base colors done. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pencil brush or like a very stiff brush like this. Um, this is a Sephora smudge brush and i'm gonna get the darkest color and i'm gonna let me show you, like the ends of hers are like lifted so i'm literally just placing that just here so pressing it in this will give like a smoky smoky lift and you want to push that all the way out so that when we tidy it up it will lift it See that? Lift, lift, lift. So you're gonna just like press the color in. I'm gonna elongate your eyes with this. Okay. You can tidy that up once you wipe it. Um yeah. Like so. So now we have the base of that. What we're gonna do is we wanna like lift it a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a brown pencil. So the pencil that I'm using is a Dior waterproof smudge aligner. So we're gonna work really quick with this. Let me sharpen it real quick. So this is in the color brown and we're just gonna focus on the end here, the lash line. The other side has a smudger. It'll work very quick. Just focus it on the corner and lifting. So I don't know if you guys see a difference, but that literally lifts the eyes. You're just gonna go close to the lash line as possible. You can warm it up in the back of your hand. That's what I do. Like so, and you're just gonna quick 
so you smudge it and work with it as fast as you can because you don't want it to stay stiff. So that's that, and that, that's really lifted this up. What I'm gonna do to sharpen that is I'm gonna get my angled brush with the same dark brown that I used, uh, and I'm literally just gonna pack this on so that it's a sharp, sharp line. add a little bit here I like to make it more cut by doing that that's that now we're gonna go back into the powder brush that we set um, the lids with I'm gonna go back in with my Laura Mercier and I'm literally just gonna blend out the harsh lines on both sides there's a lot of light the camera is not picking up a lot of the color but the pictures will show all of it and you want to keep going back and forth with the brushes that you use just to bring everything together that's what I usually do with makeup I look back step back in and look back like so there we have the eyes super simple okay and the scar will be at the end um, so what I want to do now is I want to start on the face. So let's get into it. So for the face, I'm going to spray my face with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray, which is like a primer, but I want my face prepped because I'm going to be mad. So you really want to hydrate your face if you have dry skin, but also combination skin, you really want to, you really want to soak your skin because a lot of madness will be going on there. So I'm going to be using my favorite foundation, which is the designer lift by Armani. You guys can use your own and we can also use a mattifying one, but I suggest you use your own and then we can modify it later with the powders and layering. So the designer lift in 5.5 because I'm currently tanned. I'm going to use it on um, a Sephora number 56 brush. Uh, I'm going to go at the back of my hand actually. So the thing with Kylie Jenner's makeup, she has a lot of layers, which is why it comes out so flawless. If you want to write this out, you want to do one layer or two layers in your front, but if you want it for pictures, you want to layer it more. Hopefully when I do a makeup class again, you I can be more detailed with it and I'll have more time. So I'm just going to start from the middle of the face and work my way out. The reason I do the eyes for so the reason I do the eyes first is that the concealer can really sharpen and it looks so nice. Now the foundation is applied, we're gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. So doing this step will really lock in your makeup and let you know if you need more layers of foundation if needed. So it's gonna go over everything and you can have a flawless base. And you can really get into the creases with this technique. So next we're gonna go in with a concealer for the under eye. So she usually uses two to three concealers. One is usually a, a drier one that covers and then we're gonna use the rest for a glow. So I'm gonna use this MAC palette. I think this is a full coverage palette. And I'm gonna use the, a regular color for a concealer that matches my skin just to like cover. That's what we're doing, we're covering the under eyes. Then we're gonna later brighten to that nice rosy pink under eyes that she has. So just gonna elongate everything precision and this is where you can start lifting the eyes because you um are going straight in with it now cover all the way and you want to go down like so so that you have like a nice even coverage we're now going to blend that in the damp beauty sponge 
um, just like literally pushing it into the skin. Because you use the solid kind of concealer first, it will really cover, like really cover. So that's that you want to use the same color. Next, we're going to go in with contour. So I'm going to go in with this Armani and Nose Contour, which I love. So I'm just going to go all the way to the brows because that's what she usually has. It goes all the way under the brows. And I really want to slim this and then you can contour your nose like however you feel, but it's always remember to bring it in and curve it in. So, and then I'm gonna use the NYX contour to just like, let me see. Okay, her forehead is contoured even though it's small, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna contour that and then blend it in after. And then this goes really high up. So, yeah. I don't do mine this high up, but yeah, that works. And then you add a sharp jaw, like this. Covering all of that, like, damn. And go in from here. So this part looks crazy, but remember this is basically a celebrity inspired, and this is most likely how many layers they have on. And it all just comes together and blended because of the lighting and how it's done. So I'm gonna go in with a Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush by Sephora, and I'm gonna start off by uh, blending in the nose contour because that was a shade lighter which is ideal and then I blend that all the way under the brow so it connects with the crease that we did same with this side here okay now that's blended we're gonna start blending the forehead so I'm gonna go straight into the hairline and push it in so that we don't have any like um, white stripes all the way and then when I highlight it will all come together fingers crossed uh, let's like push upwards like this I'm gonna get all the way forward and when we tidy it up it will really come together I'm gonna go over all of this with the beauty blender in a second now I'm going over the contour with a beauty blender just so that everything is really smooth. Even the nose contour that we have everything super, super blended, like push it in. Now we're going to highlight where we feel needs highlight. So I'm going to go in with the same brush I used um, to blend out the shadow earlier, like not the shadow, sorry, the concealer on the lids. Uh, and I'm gonna highlight with one shade lighter. Okay, I'm gonna do the forehead because we really need to bring that out here, here, and then the chin. So that's the highlight, and we're gonna blend in the highlight with the beauty blender. If you feel your skin is too dry for this, you're gonna just keep going in with your um, setting spray or glow spray and it will all come together. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with the under eye highlight. The first concealer I'm using is to um, soften the under eye area because I find that was a really and tough concealer so you want to bring hydration to it so i'm using the hydrating one by shape tape and this still wants to be the same color as your skin because you don't want to look great under the eyes and i'm just doing it in the corners in the inner corners because you don't want to look great that's the thing because if you go light 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 you're just going to end up looking mad great and we don't want that and make sure your sponge is not too wet because I find that if it's too wet, it will just keep like your makeup will just keep coming off. Like that's what I do. I kind of soak the sponge so all the water comes out of it and then really get into it because it stops it from sticking and getting off. So 
so now the coverage is like really really getting there because we made sure because it keeps like lifting because my sponge was too wet that's why i always have people make sure it's not too wet but this is a part where you feel if it's too dry you're gonna keep spritzing you don't have to put this many layers of concealer however if you do want the celebrity vibe you're gonna follow these steps but if you want it to wear it just add one concealer is fine okay what are we adding next we're gonna add the blush and then we're gonna blend the blush in with the pink concealer which is the most important and crucial part of the step so i'm gonna use a cream blush first as a base only like a tiny bit because the trick is that she has her blush her powder blush on wet skin which we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna take the nars orgasm and i'm taking like literally like a tiny pump like this i'm just gonna get my ring finger and i'm gonna look how high her blush is because her blush is pretty high so it's like here like here and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put it very high like this so this is where you play around because your skin is still damp and you can remove and add as much as you need because it is erasable but because once you set it you cannot go back okay so that's that and now we're gonna go in with our beauty blender and i'm gonna go with the butt part i call it the butt part because it's like more round and i'm literally just pushing it in the color so this is basically what i like to do is that when you're out and about and then your um powder blush fades you have this as the base and you're good to go okay next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the fenty concealer and rose quartz so this is an important part because this is what will brighten everything it'll just brighten so i'm gonna go in with the um, what brush will i use for that what is it Okay, I'm gonna use the MAC 212 for that. It's a very pink. Um, if you're deeper tone and you wanna do this, go for a warm, uh, like a yellow one instead of like the pink. So we're gonna go and we're gonna see how much it's brightened. So we're gonna brighten all the way, guys, from here. And we're gonna let this kind of sit a little bit. I'm gonna take it very low into a triangle. So this is gonna give you a very like snatched vibes it's also like reverse contouring too so I tried this a few times before I wanted to make a video on it and if you have dry under eyes don't use this just use a pinky concealer because you will notice because I want to use a pink powder I want to use a, a pink concealer so that it just comes out more bright, you know? It works for me. I'm going to leave that a few, for a few seconds and just let it sit. Okay, so we're slowly going to start blending this in and because we use the corrective colors for the base, you will not look great because if you use this without using the exact color of your skin concealer, you will look ashy. So you really want to make sure you correct before you do this step so see that we're, we're brightening we're brightening we're brightening we're brightening and the same with the other side and see the gradient of the blushes underneath and that gives us a guide for the powder blush I'm just gonna go in like so and same with the other side so very gently tapping it in like that taking it down and i kind of actually do this so there's no like Harsh lines. Now the under eye concealer is blended. We're gonna go in with the blush. So this is the exact blush that she actually uses. Um, she uses the Sephora um, 
author it at number six and this will be in the giveaway so if you guys do want to enter all you got to do is like share comment subscribe comment and make sure if you go on instagram follow us on there and just comment the last three pictures um and just add a pink heart emoji so i know that it's for the giveaway and then i'll just randomly choose a picker to pick you guys so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on your blush on damp skin so that it really it really goes on So this is what it looks like. It's a perfect matte pink. So I'm gonna go in with a MAC 129. I'm gonna swirl my brush in and just go straight in. And we're gonna go very high in the face. So I'm gonna kinda like put someone here. And this is where the blush really starts working in because you're putting it on damp skin. And that's where it comes to and then we're gonna go over this with a beauty blender and set the under eyes and we're gonna fix everything else so I just spritz my face with some face spray and I'm gonna go in with powder so I'm gonna go in with one of these and if you have dry skin get a like a 224 and slowly tap it and I should do that to my mom because my mom um, has psoriasis so I really try to make her have the nice under eyes and then I'm going to take the excess off like this and get straight in to it like this. And then go in with the creases. And I'm doing this as a makeup artist. Like this is how her makeup is, is done. And you see the gradient of, you see the gradient of the blush go straight in with this eye too and the effects of how this is done will really look the eyes too snatching in the nose like so on the same powder you're just gonna go in and set the T zone. Let me story this. Um, let's story this real quick. Da, da, da. Oh my god, it's so bright. This is definitely gonna look amazing on a camera. I'm telling you guys, like honestly. So while that that's baking. Um, we need a freaking filter. We're gonna set the rest of the face with a brush. Um, Never mind. We're gonna set the rest of the face with the one this comes with, with uh, the Laura Mercier Mattifying one. And this will just basically, when I add any powder, it won't cling to the damp skin. So it's really good like have that get a nice flawless finish so now we're pre prepared for the powder contour and the bronzers now what we're gonna do is we're going to start contouring the face so I'm gonna go in with a bronzer first um, by Dior this cracked on the plane so I'm so upset about it. When I'm using an angled brush for Sephora, so I kind of let this on, and I just kind of put a little bit there, a little bit here, in the hollows, just so we have a little lift. And then what I do is I get my Kabuki Dior, and I go straight in, and I do the forehead, the chin, all that bejazzle. Same thing. I'm just gonna. Oh yes, honey. Forehead. People are like, why do you bronze your forehead if it's tiny? It's because it creates dimension and it will look like a flat whale. So that's why we gotta do that. Feel me? Uh, now I'm gonna go in with, where's my 224? Okay, 224 with Hula bronzer, cause a lighter. Um, I'm gonna contour my nose. 
because this is the important part. Buffing techniques gonna come through. Come through. So now I'm just gonna dust off all the under eyes. There's an actual brush that I use for this, so I'm just gonna use this, it's fine. Oh, not my hair. And the powder, I'm just gonna blend it in with the nose contour so it's like faded nicely. Look at that under eye. Look at that under eye. It's flawless. So guys, I'm just adding a little bit more blush. Like so. Very high up and then the buffing technique and just like literally blend everything out. Um, it's very major, but we're gonna blend everything out. Um, also, what I'm adding before the buffing technique looks crazy is a little bit of a nose highlight. And I get my finger and kind of like a little bit. This is the Christian Dior um, Air Nude. So nice. Uh, now we're just gonna. Uh, do the buffing technique to blend everything out. Next, we're gonna carve the cheeks. And then carve the nose while I do the under eyes. So this will really help snatch everything in. Okay, so for the under eyes, I'm going to use a pencil brush by MAC in 219. I'm gonna take my Dior you know a lot of Dior in here, right? I'm sorry. I may do a drugstore tutorial next. 736 Rosewood Matte. I'm just gonna take this underneath. Just lightly wash it underneath. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Yeah. Um, oh, lips. That's gonna be fun. And then if you really want to bring out your eyes, like Kylie's, you're going to put a nude liner in your waterline. So we're going to do that. Oh, we brighten that up. Wakes the eye up. That really woke the eye up. And then the beginning when we have that color, I want to put that back in the front where I use the Fenty palette. Where are you? Here. This color. Oh my god, something smashed. See, the thing with Fenty shadows is they fade too quick. I do not like them. But because I got it, I don't want to waste it, so I'm just using it. I will link alternatives to shadows that are better pigments and better pricing in the um, description. Looks nicer in person, I promise. Okay, now I'm going to dust off this. Here is the brush. Like so. Oh, I didn't take a snap of that. Let me do that. This is going to look like an actual filter in person. I'm going to add some bronzer, put some color on it, and spritz this with some setting spray. And then show you guys how the lips come out. So I have no idea what lip was used, but I know the blush is this one. Um, so I'm just going to wing it. So I'm going to go in with Cork by MAC first. Uh, lightly. Okay, and I'm gonna fill the lips in with another lip liner by Glamour Rouge uh, Velvet Lips and Spoiled. So the cork was used as like a contour, and this is like the base where we blend it. Okay, 
gonna clean up the corners. And then I'm gonna go in with Benetton to like add some color in the base. I feel like a, a bitten vibes in the middle. I'm gonna top it off with a matte lip by Chanel. I'm sorry for using such high-end products, but I used what I had. So guys, my camera died, so I had to charge it. The last step is I'm using the Chanel 802 Beige Natural. Uh, here's the lips. And this will really let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to add some mascara. I'm using um, Climax by Extreme by NARS. So. That really makes a difference. Wow. And there we have it. Let's take out. Let's take out the hair. And then you can set that with um, hairspray. I don't think these are meant for setting, but you don't know. So it's okay. This is like glue, this is the glued hairspray. So if you want like no um, flyaways, you're gonna love that. Where did I put my toothbrush? I didn't touch it. I think I'm gonna have to just like touch it and smooth it out with my hands. <clears throat> but what I do is I take a little bit and I'm gonna use it for my baby hair. So that's the final look, a recreation attempt of Kylie Jenner's makeup look, which is all matte. I'll be taking taking pictures and uploading them. Uh, but yeah, try this technique, guys. You will have Kylie Jenner makeup at least close to it anyway. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Any other celebrity recreations you have, just put them in the comments below and I will try and recreate them. Um, I really want to do Kim Kardashian because I love her. Um, I, but this is more requested than the Kim one. So I'll do the wet look um, Kim Kardashian hair. And then I'll do Jennifer Lopez, of course. But I want to get a wig for that to like have the whole experience. Um, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But remember, if you guys did watch this uh, this part, um, you can be entered to win so much makeup from Sephora that I got myself. Like they like this, 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 and you can re uh, recreate this look yourself. So I'm um, always adding things to the giveaway. So make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, which will be here. Um, make sure you comment the last three pictures and leave a heart emoji, like the the pink one with loads of like lines. So I know that you're from this video. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think and if you want more celebrity recreations and if you if you want like online makeup classes, I'd love to do that too. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed and I love you guys until next time. Mwah.